Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and Skim Kitty, and welcome back to another episode of Cat Tales. So, in the last episode, if you haven't seen it, oh, it's raining. If you haven't seen it, you should go ahead and, and uh, give it a look. Uh, oh, it's thundering and lightning out. Ugh, yikes. Um, but we had uh, quite a bit of uh, some, some pretty cool adventures, so hopefully we'll have some cool adventures today. Definitely try to see if we can get a fight out here, and maybe we'll win. Uh, we might want to level up our fighting a little bit, or health or something first. But the first thing I want to do actually is go ahead and try to give this, what is it called? Emperor Butterfly. It's an Emperor Butterfly. And I'd like to try to give the Emperor Butterfly to Missy. I don't know if she'll like it or not. I think there's one butterfly that she does like. I'm going to find out what it is. I do want her to be my friend. So, uh, who are you and what do you want from me? Well, at least you have good taste. She likes the Emperor Butterflies. Guess what? You can have them both. So, and you see down here, this is like how much they like you, so she, it's only two stars, but, uh, but I'll take it. We're looking okay otherwise. Um, is there anything else we want to particularly give away? We, let's, um, let's sell a couple things, just because we kind of can. Yeah, let's visit the shop, and we'll sell some items. If you guys don't know what the shop is, it's right over here. And, uh, we'll, we can sell, uh, not too much fruit, because we're gonna need that. Probably sell the the uh, firefly. I want to keep the lavender. We'll sell the fireflies though for now. So we'll get a little bit of muse, muse. And uh, there you go. Thank you for your business. No problem. No problem at all. In fact, let me see if there's anything I do want to buy. Cause maybe there is something. You know. Take your time. Look around. Mouse. Uh, mainly food and then marigold. Trees wounds over time. I see. I see. It must be like a better thing. I don't need any of that stuff though. Uh, yet, so we'll go ahead, we'll go ahead and, uh, leave and go up towards where the fighting is. Now, before we do that, I said last time that I was going to go ahead and do some upgrading, so I do think, I do think that the passive skills and the active skills between the two of them, diplomacy, use a skill in a contested region to gain power, wild slash, deficit your foot with a slash that, pa that packs a punch, that kind of sounds cool actually. Oh, there's a whole bunch of really cool stuff here. Wow. Oh, wow. That's cool. I'm not sure if I want to go for passive skills, actually, if I'm going to have all that cool stuff. But I think I'm going to just because I do plan on fighting quite a bit, especially in the beginning. So uh, I just feel like that's a cool way to kind of get some muse and some, uh, some experience and stuff like that. So... Also, it's kind of fun, guys. I'm not going to lie. I like being a jerk that... I think I can pick that up. I can. It's Valerian. I don't remember quite what that does. We might check it out after we fight a bit. Oh, we got a good pack right here. So Now, I don't want to be on this side because I, I don't want to be like tanking the damage necessarily. I can't see very well. Can I take him? We got him. The battle is won. We've killed many, many uh, a, uh, mystic cats. I believe they were the mystics. Into the mystic. We killed uh, many mystic cats today, and uh, that's good news for us. We're able to kind of uh, expand our territory, perhaps. So, actually, that's, that reminds me. I want to test this out. Lavender. You can use its strong scent to gain power for your colony in an area. Let's go ahead and see what it is that does. Now, this is a. Let's go up one, because up one. Actually, there's a fight down here. Let's go to this fight, and then we'll see if we can actually expand our territory into that. I'm not quite sure exactly how it will work. Let's um let's actually use a couple of these guys first. Just to kind of have ourselves healed up a little bit. We're gonna be healing up a little bit over time there. Also keep an eye for any prey. If I can get this bird, I'll take the bird. Ah, I was hoping that my timing would be perfect and uh, he'd just be spotting me as as my leap started, but I, I missed time for sure. Let's go in here. There's a fight somewhere, right? One more down. It's down one more. Okay, let's give it a go. We're going to go in here. We're going to fight, and we're going to see what it is that Lavender does. That's the goal, basically. Hopefully, we don't lose this fight. I mean, I'm not going to risk death. Um, so, I, I won't. If we're severely outnumbered, I don't think I'm going to fight. But we're not actually severely outnumbered. So, oy, I don't want to be tanking, though. All right. I'm tanking a little bit, but I think we got this. I think we got this. It's going to be close. It's going to be close. It's uh, two on one. One on one. Come on, got him. The battle is won. All of my buddies have died, though. It was pretty brutal. It was a rough fight. Uh, but, we, uh, but we've won. We've persisted, 
and we now have control of this area. So my question is, what is it that lavender, that lavender does? So supposedly, it's a strong scent that gains power from my colony. In the map, uh, it's listed as Forest 82, Mystic 18. So if I use that right here, what happens? It's used, and um, let's take a look, right? Forest 92, Mystic 8. So it did bring it up. Not enough to give us this area, though. I wonder if... I do wonder if winning the battle maybe did, though. I'm not quite sure. But uh, either way, we learned a little bit We learned a little bit from that. We learned some things, and learning things is definitely very cool. I want to show you real quick, though, guys. The swimming is dangerous. Because you can see my little meter there going down. That means that I'm getting closer to drowning. I could not make it across here right now with the skills I have uh, without dying. So I'm a little bit hungry though, and I'm also in a little bit of damaged position. So I'm gonna use a couple of these guys just to top me off. I'm not too afraid of that. Okay, I'm full. Because when you sleep, I do believe you gain health. I don't know if it's full health or if it's a percentage, but uh, the last time it seemed to be full. There's a little bit of licorice root. That's a little bit of food right there. And uh, we'll go ahead and we'll wander off into uh, some exploratory areas. I think we need to go right a little bit to get to places we haven't been yet. And let's just see what's kind of around here. I mean, it's it's a rainy day, it's an ugly day, but, uh, you know, a kitty's got to gotta hunt, a kitty's got to eat, so... It doesn't appear like there's a ton of stuff out, though, for hunting purposes. I don't know if that's normal, if that's based, perhaps, on, um... Oh, bunny. Hopefully it'll stop running. They ran off screen, which I believe when they run off screen, I believe they're gone. We can check on that. I think stops us from checking on that. Yeah, it does look like they're gone. Can I make it across this? This catnip over there. Yikes. Yikes. Oh, wow. That's so close. That is scary, scary close. We got the catnip, though. And there's some cattails over there. And it's shorter to go on this side, so we're going to go ahead and go on this side. And we used our speed boost, which I don't know if it helps in the water or not. It seemed like it may have, but uh, just to be safe, just to be careful, there didn't appear to be a reason not to give it a go. It does look like it helped. Now, I appear to be quite wealthy, and I think that's from taking over these, uh, these contested areas. So, that seems to be a decent way of earning a little bit of money. Not a problem there. Not a problem for me, at least. Do I have a lot of uh, experience? I have a little bit of experience. I don't... I, once once that's all... You know, I'll cross the river once I make sure that I have the sprint available. I don't want to risk the kitty again. That was fairly close. You know what? Don't even have to. Alright, but one thing I am noticing right now is that there does not appear to be a ton of creatures out. You kind of seem to maybe have to be particularly careful on rainy days. Alright, there's a frog. Yeah, frogs should be, in theory, pretty easy prey. I don't feel like they have particularly great eyesight. Didn't see anything else over there. There's another frog. I almost missed him. You really got to keep your crouch, like, ready to go. Oh, because I was hitting shift still. I, no, I don't know why that happened. I think I unshifted before I hit my space bar. I think that's what happened right there, guys. We'll give it a look. There's a mouse up here. By mouse, I mean there's dinner. Perfectly done. Very well. Very nicely done. Here's a bunny. So bunnies are probably a little bit larger of a radius. Got him anyway. That was pretty good. Oh, I missed that mouse. It's kind of hiding behind the tree a little bit. It is quite hard to see them when you're not in pounce mode. So that's something definitely to keep in mind. Now, I've been wandering around a little bit here. And I'm not quite sure where it is that I am. Oh, boy. I am pretty much directly in mountain territory right now. In mountain cat territory. So they could be anywhere. You know, I'm, I'm not in friendly territory to say the least. Let's go ahead and cross over. So we use the sprint and uh, almost, almost messed ourselves up by turning to face upwards. You don't, you, there are currents in the water and you do have to keep that in mind if you want to be safe. Traveling down can be a little bit of an issue. When it seems like the best thing to kind of do is travel in a way that gives you the most amount of sight as possible. There's a, there's a fish there. And if he's close to shore, 
I got him. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, okay, so I took damage. I took damage hard and fast. That's what happens when you start to drown. So now we know. Uh, whoo, boy. That was, that was dangerous. Let's use this. That'll heal us up a little bit. And uh, we'll also use, uh, use a couple of these guys as well. Just a little bit. Now we're hungry, so we'll eat some of this licorice because it kind of is taking up space. And it's really not doing much for me in terms of food. And then these guys, Valyrian is the energized and invigorates cats. I think that kind of gives you a little bit of a boost to things. We'll eat a mouse too because they're pretty easy to get. We have a trout. Oliver, I think, is the one who said that they like... Excuse me, that they like trout, so. We can make it across there. At least we can when we have our boost. That's the last obstacle really standing in our way. I want to start from here. And our boost is ready. I think it makes a difference, guys. It feels like it makes a difference, so pick up this stuff. I mean, we're here, and we're going home for the night. We'll be able to store some stuff in our little cat cave. <laughs> in our little cat den, our little kitty den. So, uh, we'll be fine once we get going. I want to get home at this point. It's raining. It's gross out. I have no more interest in being outside. I don't know if it gets particularly dangerous outside. I feel like that'd be a really cool addition to kind of maybe add in some other stuff. Okay. That's an enemy. We're going to take him on, though. I think I can take him. We got to run. We can be ready to run away, but, uh, yeah, I didn't even have to. He uh, he took on somebody who was a little bit stronger than he was. Now, there's another one. And I don't think I want to keep fighting, necessarily. We are in our own territory, though. You know what we're going to do? I say we defend our territory from this cat. Alright, we're healing up a bit. Can we take him? I'm not 100% sure, actually. Let's just, uh, let's use another one of these. We have money. Let's go for it. Oh, wait, she's one of us. Never mind. I, I, maybe it's just dark. Maybe it's just dark. They didn't come, that's a good point. She didn't come to attack me anyway. You guys are probably yelling at your screen like, that's a friendly skim. Uh, it was. It was indeed a friendly. And now it stopped raining. Well, all right, that was a little bit sudden. <laughs> that was kind of like, hey, it's miserable out, and now it's sunny and beautiful and kind. All right, not a problem, not a problem to each their own. Let's go ahead and, uh, and call it a day. And on that note, we're also going to call it an episode. So I think one day for an episode is a little bit short, but, uh, but if it ends up being a problem, I'll just post two of these in a day, I think. That could be a cool thing as well. Hope you guys are enjoying, though. I certainly am. I think this is a lot of fun. And uh, if you are enjoying this, if you are having a good time, please do leave a like, comment, subscribe, or girl, some fun stuff. You know I really do appreciate it, especially if you're new here. Uh, you don't want to miss out the rest of this series and all the other fun stuff. Let's go to bed, guys. Let's go to bed, and I'll see you tomorrow.